Recently, I did a video to see if the Xbox Series S could replace a gaming PC by simply connecting a mouse and keyboard to it. Considering the affordability of the Xbox Series S, the results weren't too bad, but I thought we would try it again, but this time with the Xbox Series X. My hope is that with the increase in performance, games will run smoother and give us a better gameplay experience on the mouse and keyboard. Because not only do games look better with higher resolutions on the Series X, there's actually more titles that support up to 120 FPS. Last time when I tried to do this with my Xbox Series S, I said that I couldn't get my wireless keyboards working and I had to use a wired mouse and also a wired keyboard. Well, a lot of you commented saying that it should be working with the USB dongle. And I promised that I did try this last time, but I still couldn't get it to work. So instead I went ahead and updated the firmware and reset some of the wireless settings. And this time it worked perfectly fine. Definitely having this high-end wireless mouse and keyboard from Logitech did make the overall experience significantly better than with the cheap mouse and keyboard that I used last time. And this was for a few reasons. The first being less cables on the desk, making the setup feel a lot cleaner and nicer to use. But more importantly, we have more advanced DPI settings on this Logitech mouse, letting us crank up the DPI sensitivity on the mouse and reduce the in-game sensitivity to sort of reduce that mouse acceleration sensation I had last time because of VSync being enabled on all of the Xbox titles. With the new mouse and keyboard setup, this time when I tested out Warzone, it felt much more like what I was familiar with when gaming on my PC. But a major problem is that Warzone doesn't have a field of view slider. So although the input and latency felt good with the mouse and keyboard, actual gameplay made you feel really sick being close to the monitor with such a tight field of view. As I mentioned in my last video, Battlefield 2042 and also Battlefield 5 do not work with a mouse and keyboard, which is a bit frustrating considering the huge player base they have on PC. But one game in particular that recently came out is Halo Infinite that does support mouse and keyboard. I think I can confidently say that this right now is currently probably one of the best titles on console for mouse and keyboard support. It feels incredibly smooth and responsive. You have a ton of customizations with both the button mappings and also a field of view slider. And furthermore, because of the fantastic optimization, I did actually feel an advantage to gaming with a mouse and keyboard in this particular title. Now, unlike with the Xbox Series S, I did have more setup issues with the Series X for some bizarre reason. Initially, when I connected my wired keyboard, this worked perfectly fine, just as expected. However, when I first connected my mouse, it wasn't correctly being detected. And even in games where I had chosen chosen mouse and keyboard as the input device, it was clearly recognizing my input from my mouse as a joystick. So the solution to this problem was to do a hard reset where you hold down the power button for eight seconds on your Xbox Series X and then disconnect the power cord for a couple of minutes. I had to do this about two or three times and then it all just suddenly started to work. Just like with the Xbox Series S, our keyboard operates exactly the same because we're running the same operating system. To navigate the Xbox dashboard, you use the arrow keys to scroll around and select the different tiles. Then to open an app, you click the enter key, for example, we're inside of Microsoft Edge here, and you can then take the mouse and browse just like you would on a computer. We're here on Amazon, we could do our shopping on Amazon or whatever it is that you need to do. And something really cool about this Microsoft Edge app is your ability to use Microsoft 365. You can access Word Online, Excel Online, PowerPoint Online, and go ahead and do your schoolwork, writing an essay and all those types of things. Overall, my gaming experience with the Xbox Series X and a mouse and keyboard was definitely better than with the Xbox Series S. And I think this comes down to a few factors. A lot of the games run at higher FPS, 120 FPS, and they're also running at 4K, so they look significantly better like they would on my high-end gaming PC. However, it is still not perfect. With many titles lacking an FOV slider, such as Warzone, and even great games like Halo Infinite that are well optimized are still lacking mouse support within the menu. So it makes operating and navigating the menu system just a little bit closer. If you want to see my video sharing my thoughts on using a mouse and keyboard with the Xbox Series S, I recommend watching this video next.